All right, welcome back. So we are going to work on tests today to find out what things we can do with the empties. So we have empty ships, uh, modules, excuse me. And I've already decorated them. I've already done this video. This is the exact uh, remaining of how I did it in the first look video. So nothing inside has changed except for I did change a table because I already tested one thing. I'm just going to show you the results. Timestamps will be down below of any of the various tests you want to see so that you can come in here and go, oh, well, I know I can do this and I'm okay. So test number one, we are going to change things on the ship unrelated to Habs because in the past, even that would screw up our ship. I have already tested changing to another ship and changing back. It had no effect. I'm not going to put that in the video. That's pretty self-explanatory. But like, let's say, let's get rid of that. And heck with it. Let's just get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of that, that, and that. Actually, let me take that back. Let me go back on that. Let's not take away that thing because that I will have to go and freaking get it all over again. So take away this, 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 that. Uh, let's see. What error? What do we got? Flight check. Unattached modules. Was that attached to it? I don't think so. Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, fine. So we'll take that off. Pop that right there. And pop that there. Alright, so now we're normal. We've done a bunch of changes. And let's go see what happens to the interior of the Habs. See if it did anything to um, <clears throat> nuke any parts. And no, I haven't... I can't remember the script to turn these guys off. So they're still on. Alright. Hi there, Captain. I see no I changes in here. All the way hey, down to you? that stuff that I added. Let's go check the back. Since I did put something on the very back of the ship. Important or not, I'm ready to listen. That's all different. That nuked a whole bunch of shit because I put day, I took out the window, and I guess this is what the normal back end looks like. So that did change some things, and all I did was take the window off. Normally there was a cavity right here, and that was kind of a diagonal, and that was a diagonal. So it did remove some things because the back of this changed. And if we go back here, and we set things back to the way they were, I'm going to assume that the cavities return but the items have not returned because how would it know being honest so we had let's see put that there we had structural way down that and then that was there that was there this had a window portal. Okay. And then we had a pair of... I don't care about this, but the, about the rest. That's fine. That's good enough for now. Except, get back out of here. So we should have the window portal back. However, it should be missing the items that it had to take out because it replaced the wall. So, window portal is back. I changed that to be the right way, so you, now you see it's got that kind of weird 45. All this is back. However, the items are not back. Did it put it in my hold, or did it put it in the cargo hold? Put it in the cargo hold. So, it puts the items into your cargo hold, and I would just have to replace those when I chose to. So, that's going to be test number one. If you put something... I should say change something where you have added something, a window or whatever, and then all of a sudden it's a bulkhead instead. Anything that's in that space, I had a chair there, a chair there. This had that uh, hexagonal, half hexagonal uh, panel, and there was a chair there. Good to see you again. I think 
that's all the items I had over here. And a secondary test I did prior to that. Actually, we're going to do that test right now. So, I don't know why I went to that. Let's go do... The next test would be, what if I add a hab to a spot, and therefore now that spot has a new door or ladder? What does that do to the location? So we're going to come in here, and we're going to take off this, and we're going to add a hab right there. So I am only going to add a one by one uh, for this test, just because I want to see... Sure, that works. Good enough. So now there's going to be a ladder connection right here. We know there's a ladder connection there because it's the only way up to this companionway. You can't go this way, you can't go that way, can't go from either side. So, let's go take a look and see what that did to it. I already have some idea because I did this before. The next, the reason I'm doing this now is because the next test, I have a feeling he's going to bork everything, and I didn't want to do it before I recorded the results of all this. So, now we have our door, and everything there is the same. Now, I want to make it clear, it's not actually all the same. In the original, in the first look video, I had a different table here that came out to about right here. It nuked that table. I changed oh, to this there. table because of that reason. Now, this is actually a good exercise because you can place things where you might want to expand later, let it force a, a door or a ladder, place your furniture around the space, because I had a um, rug here too, place it around the space where you know this ladder's not going to affect it, then you can take this off, and in the future, when you decide you want to do an upgrade, you want to expand, add another level, add another hab, you know it's not going to mess with your furniture. So that's actually a good thing that it does that. But the rest of it, all the same. Everything's all the same the way I, way I had it. So now, the more difficult thing, the thing I think is actually going to screw everything up. And that is, what happens if I move Habs? So I take the existing Habs in their placement and say, you know what, I want to flip them around. I don't want the control center up front, I want it in the back. So we're going to take this off because I don't want that there anyway. Let's uh, go ahead and put the back, the structural piece. Oh, where'd you go? There it is. Alright, so we've got our structural piece back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. Pop that there. Pop this there. Now, if this was originally, and these were the old Habs, and you had hand-placed a bunch of stuff in there, uh, in including, now, this is back before the patch in, like, I don't know, November, uh, the armory stuff, Everything would have been refunded and stuck back in your cargo hold because it, it doesn't understand what you change things. What are you doing? So now it should. I'm thinking it nuked it all, but we're gonna find out. Let's see how sticky the uh, the placed items are. Now, of course, doors are in different spots, so that might mess things up. But let's see how it looks. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, damn. We can move things. Okay, this room... So this is the center, but still. I moved the whole damn hab to somewhere else on the ship. And everything I decorated is still here. Everything's still in the cockpit the way I decorated it. This is all the same. Now it's the change table because of me forcing the ladder. So this, of course, now this same thing. When I added a ladder here, that showed me what I can, can and can't get away with in that space and a rug here. This ends up doing the same thing because now my landing area is here instead of in a spot where it was controlled there, I could, if I wanted to now keep it here, place furniture in a manner that it doesn't affect this. Room? And if I ever need to change again, get out of my way. Okay, so this is all the same. If I ever need to change again, it would be fine. Uh, this is all the same. 
Okay, so it did nuke all of this stuff. It didn't take anything off the shelving. The weapon rack is still there. Weapons are still on the weapon rack. Very nice. And because there was a window here where there was a door, or there's a window now where there was a door, this thing stayed because it has the same opening cavity. However, uh, this is where we came before, and there was a workstation and a storage box there. They're both gone. But those over there stayed. Now, the question, I guess, would be how tight is the tolerance around this for a door and a ladder? So you've got your escape hatch here with its little ladder, and it's above docking. And then you have a standard ladder, if I were to put this back. What is the tolerance? Now, I know the tolerance is this tight because it did not take away these chairs. These chairs stayed exactly the word. It just took the table because it encroached. All right. That's a very good test. I'm going to keep doing some more tests uh, today. I'll try to tack them onto this video if I find anything else that's really interesting. If not, I'll put the video out as is because th this was the big one. Can we move the Habs around after being decorated and have them still stay exactly how they are? By the way, one more thing. How do I get into this? F? All right, so if I go to F, F is your scanner. And, well, at least on keyboard it is, and it, if you haven't changed it yourself. Look at the bottom. Decorate R. Someone told me in... Uh, was it Reddit, or was it on YouTube? Reddit or YouTube, you can do that now, instead of having to always run over here to this decorate panel. So, pull your scanner up. Look down at the bottom. It says, uh, decorate for R. Boom. And now you have that. So that's cool. Cool addition, too. All right. Either thanks for watching, or I'll be back with you on the next portion. All right, so here is the next test. I want to determine. So I've got, now, now, remember when I swapped these things around, it nuked the industrial workbench I had there, uh, but I had the ammo can still up. So I've now removed everything that would be in the way if a door spawned right here. These guys on the side won't matter. We know that didn't matter because I changed these habs around. I put the habs back. Now, this side, I have items in the way. These two maybe or maybe not are in the way for a door. This is definitely in the way for a door. Question is, when I place a 2 by one against this 2 by one will the game go, hey, I've got an empty space here. Let me put the door there. Or is the game going to be like, I don't give a crap. Move your crap out of my way. I want the door there. Let's find out right now. Because this maybe again is it's a maybe is a way for us to semi force the door how we want it hopefully all right so now i need a do uh, a hab right here that's going to be challenging get that out of the way that's that de dealt with if i take that landing gear off i'm not going to have enough am i uh, let's try and see what happens. Damn it. That figures. Well, I don't really need a shield, right? <laughs> uh, there we go. It looks stupid. Uh, where can I put the shield? Can I put the shield anywhere? Sure. Put the shield there. Get up there. Uh, there you go. All right. There we are. So now we have this big empty spot here. So I'm going to start with a... I'm going to start the way we used to try to force it. I'm going to click on the door spot I want the hole to go to. Hit G. I'm going to go over here to Habs. Let's do an empty one. Let's try it. And let's try the same thing. We're just going to go down here to Stroud. So we got a two by one. Now this all-in-one berth fits there using that spot. And here's what I mean by fits there. If you remember the videos I made before, when you click on the door that hab that you're spawning has a natural spot it either wants to go in. Like this, this armory, it wants the door, and it wants to go backwards versus forward like these. So I want to pick one that goes the same direction. Sure, let's do a captain's quarters. So we're going to do a... Oh, I want to do empty first. Okay, fine. We'll go back this way. 
Ah, empty captain's quarter snaps differently. You sucker. I already have a limit. Empty science. There you go. So we got an empty science. We're going to try that. See what happens. Now, hopefully, it spawns the door right here where it's empty. Instead of right here where I placed items. Let's go find out what happens. Oh, wow. It took off the... The, um... Why would it take that? That's such a random thing to take. I guess this one did interfere. Okay, so it popped the door here. By the way, I'm going to be making videos to showcase these all empty because... Oh, you son of a buck. It nuked all of it. It just said, screw everything. I'm going to put two doors on this thing. That's just so dumb. Uh, I'm going to be doing the videos just like I did before, but this time it's going to showcase all of these as empty because, as you can tell, empty doesn't mean empty. Empty means there's still things in here. There's quite a few things in this one, including these dumb racks that we can't do anything about. So, yeah, that test sucked. It put a whole bunch of stuff there and put two doors. That's weird. It doesn't usually put two doors. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. See anything interesting today? Well, I guess I'll go back to uh, testing some more, but it, it, it looks to me like... It's just going to still put doors wherever it feels like. Unless you force it by having one opening only, it does look like it's going to just place doors however, because I did all the things that we used to know of as correct for door placement by clicking on that one because I wanted that one, and it stuck it in both of them. So, eh, it's not the best result, but it was a result. So, I'm going to end the video with this. That was a good set of testing. I will keep doing more today and see what else I can come up with. And look forward to the uh, all Habs videos, but all empty Habs videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.